First time I met Makai, it was impressive because you got a guy that's almost 6'9", he's 365 pounds. He is a big, massive, lean specimen. Makai almost looks like a power forward. I worked with a ton of offensive linemen, but this guy was different. We got a monster on our hands. My name is Makai Beck, and I play offensive tiger for the New York Jets. All right, here we go. First two guys up. We've got eight presses. Press out here, bring it back. I was always the bigger kid growing up. It was always, he's too big to do that. We got to check his ID. He's not the real age, the cheating. It's all, every, everything was pulled out the book when I came out. <laughs> I got into football because of my dad. Started when I was five, and my dad coached me all the way up to high school. I always played offensive line. Played every, every position on the offensive line growing up. Don't crunch. Shoulder's still big. Good core tech. There we go. The things I like about being an offensive lineman is just I can dominate the man in front of me every play. I can take him where he doesn't want to go. I can take him where I want him to go. Everything we do from offensive line is from the ground up. And then all the rest kind of falls in. I started working with Makai back in December of 2019. And he was a guy that every single day showed up and got better, better, and better. And it was about probably four weeks into our program where we realized, whoa, this, is, this guy's different. I'm working out with Duke every day, Monday through Friday. That's all I can say. I mean, he gonna work you to death, but he, he gonna love you at the same time. You know what kind of work we're gonna do that day, but the workouts is totally different. He put everything away before we get in here, after the next group, so you don't know what you about to do. So he always keeps us on our toes, for sure. Today's main focus is gonna be essentially core. Rotation, anti-rotation, TVA, uh, transverse of dominance. It's really a key essentially PowerPoint of offensive line function and op optimal play. With Makai, the biggest things that we wanted to make sure that we focused on was just stability from the ground up, you know, ankles, hips, core, all the protective mechanisms that are gonna help him stay on the field and keep the longevity. And it's still a work in progress. Just getting him to completely understand being stable and being in positions that are not gonna be vulnerable and compromised. Football happens, O-line happens, there's gonna be vulnerable and compromising positions, but if we can mitigate that by, in his training, in his prep, in his development, that's always been the, been the focus with him. Inside, I'm trying to grab this. I'm trying to get to that armpit. It's a little flat with the shoulder pad, I'm trying to grab that. So if I go, I'm sitting, this left hand showing, showing that swipe, I'm right here. This is kind of where the mastermind came from. These guys breaking out on their own, in between sets, talking football all the time. I'd be going under, under. It's kind of the same, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get that same thing. That helps a lot, man, because we, we all just do different things with our technique, and when you can get advice from someone else that's older than you and been in the game longer than you, I mean, it always helps. So, I mean, that's what I try to do every time I'm here. Good. Good, get some space between your hands. There we go. Try to model my game after Jonathan Ogden, Orlando Pace, Joe Thomas, guys like that. Uh, it's just the way they play, just how dominant they are in the run and pass game, just the technique, how, where their hand placement is, where their feet at, their eyes, everything. What I like about that is you were able to maintain your posture and pad level right there. At no point did you raise up, your timing was on point. With you being almost 6'9", you can't afford to hip to come up at any point. Your target's gonna be off. This year was all about getting healthy, taking care of the injuries, and then development. You know, continuing to get better at what we do, and that's playing off at the line, that's blocking people. I'm expecting a pretty big year for Makai. I think the focus is gonna be for him to be able to stay on the field uh, and making sure that he is uh, being the anchor of that Jets O-line. Benito, good work, fellas. Oh, dude. What the? Seriously? What? Oh, the socks? Yeah, I gotta go burn my hands now. I didn't really believe in physical therapy, like in college and stuff like that, because I always felt if you was in the training room, they gonna keep you in there, and I, I like to go home. So like, it just started when I got here and I started to take more care of my body, take it more seriously. It's uh, called uh, FST, fascial stretch therapy. So you see, we never stay in one spot like a static stretch. So we'll find end range and keep them moving through 
the movement pattern to get more tissue to release. Duke had got him first and he called me that night and he was like, you, you, you won't believe the size of this kid. I mean, we have all these players, but I've never seen anybody move like this for this size. All the fascia is what we're really trying to move around and it's all connected. So usually when we find one spot and I can get one side loose, his body you relax and the rest of it starts to unpeel a little easier. Honestly, I would say the shudders hurt, but when you get up, they feel amazing. So, I mean, it's, it's pain that you can take. I can feel the improvement. So it's, it helps out a lot, helps out a whole lot. So you start singing now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My rookie season was bad. Uh, we, we went 0-12. That was hard to go through. I mean, I, I already went through a 2-10 and season in Louisville, but going through 0-12, that was, that was tough. Now your hip opens up all the way. I'm really excited to play with Coach Sala. Uh, he brings a lot of energy to the building, to the facility, and that's what the team needs, and I can't wait. Warm enough for you? This is a special stim machine. I can actually lengthen tissue with current. It's DC current, so we can use it with water. So we're actually gonna sink the pads into the water and then put a bunch of pads on him and electrify the water, actually. So all these guys' feet and ankles, there's a tremendous amount of neurological function down there, a ton of nerves that get beat to death through compensation pattern or lack of circulation because they're so heavy, some of the tissues will shut down. So when we put them in the water, we're gonna get all that stuff turned back on. It's like going to the closet and turn all the breakers back on. Uh, I wanna get all pro everything, pro bowl, get my quarterback rookie of the year. He's a great quarterback. He does things that you just be like, how did he just do that? So like, I, I just can't wait for the world to see it, honestly, I'm, I'm excited for him. I think Makai's main motivation is proving the doubters wrong. The naysayers, the people that tell him what he can't do, or the people that try to find little nicks and knacks to bump him down, or to, to kind of discredit or disprove what he's all about. I would say my little brothers motivate me uh, because you're seeing a smile on their face every day when I see them. And uh, my grandma that passed away, they, they, those are the two main things that motivate me the most. Makai's a special player. And in terms of his trajectory over the next four to five years, definitely want to see him end up becoming the most dominant offensive lineman in the NFL. And that's truly up to Makai to be the best that he can be because he definitely has the potential to be the best ever.